Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a short video with a um, with a very relatively small subject matter, and that's in uh, taming the draft grid. Um, there's been something that's bugged me for quite some time, and and it's the draft grid um, in relation to zooming around your workbench. So something I'm constantly doing is sizing my workbench to the contents, and that's fine if your draft if your um, if your objects are the same size as your uh, grid but what I found was the default on draft grid is much larger than a lot of the stuff I was working on and let me change back to the default settings and make a small uh, make a small model to show you what I'm talking about let me pause to change my settings back so you don't have to see that yet Okay, so I jump cut to a cube that I made in the part workbench. So a part workbench and I just click the cube. So this is the default cube and it's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. Nothing wrong with that. But what we run into trouble or what I run into trouble with is, so I, sorry, let me get uh, first things first. I frequently do those three operations to get my uh, drawing centered and, and a good perspective and just sort of a constant way of working on it. Um, so what I want to show you is if we go to the draft workbench here um, and we uh, click on the grid, you'll see the default grid is quite large. I don't think, I, this isn't quite the default setting, but something like this. So say I want to have the grid for a frame of reference and then I zoom out, it includes the grid as the drawing and that can be uh, quite frustrating. There's an easy change for this, and it's something that I should have figured out a long time ago, but I always just kept uh, putting it off, is if you go into Preferences, click on the Draft Workbench, and also I think, I don't think all of these were in here, I think the grid size is a newer addition, but I could be wrong. So what I what I like to do at this point is set this to something like five, and set this to something like 25. So a much smaller grid. So now it's not gonna actually apply it, um, but it applied it to the settings. You, um, I think you need to leave, let's go to part design. I think you need to leave FreeCAD completely, but sometimes you can get these things to, oh, nope, they're affected. So sometimes if you switch, switch the workbench, uh, the preferences will be applied. Sometimes you have to leave FreeCAD altogether. But now, so now when I do my, my zooming and orienting, you get a more reasonable view and you can leave the uh, draft grid in, in view uh, all the time. Uh, Cause I found, and you know, I think I'm gonna save quite a bit of time cause I found myself constantly going in and out of draft workbench to turn that off. Um, even though some, some of my toolbars, like the one for the workbench I'm working on, it has, uh, ignore that, it has the, the grid included in it um, just for that reason. Cause I had to turn it on and off all the time. So uh, I hope that helps you out. I hope you can use that to uh, make your free cat experience a little bit more smooth and have a great day.